Right, we're going to make a little update video as I need to do one, just so I can update you guys on a few things. Because I will, I did make a community post on these two, which I will tell you about in a minute. But I'm decided I'm decided going to make a full video just to explain something because I'm going to make a full community post on something and then just be there for hours writing it. So we're going to do a little update video. So we'll start off with the we'll start off with the we're going to the house first. I'm going to try not to make this too long, because I need to uh, tidy up. Who's stripping a bit? Uh, it's raining as well. So in here, as you can see, we've got the Siemenses. So I've got, this is this is going to be permanent here. I've decided to bring this in, because I wanted to have both Siemenses in here, together, as day drivers, as they've got decent sized drums. Plus the AI is kind of crappy. So I've brought this in here, and this will be standing here permanently, I think. By the looks of things, unless it breaks and then it'll have to go back out. Uh, and that's just staying there. I have filmed a wash race against these two, uh, which will be up on the channel soon, which we'll talk about as well in a minute. Let's go outside. We'll go in the auto so quick just to show you in there as well, because a bit changed in there as well. So, in here, so there's the old classic WA32 slash 33 from the channel. You ain't seen it for a while, but that's where it is. I've still got it and I won't get rid of it. Uh, you can hear the all of there, it just looks like it's come off, but yeah. So that's still there. Now the Bosch dryer, this I ain't really showed you, I don't think really. I've had it for a while now. Uh, I have put it, uh, a new door on it though. It did have an old door which is in there, I'll show you, but it wasn't a see-through one, so I've got this see-through one off Morgan. Got a glass thing, I think. I don't use this really though, because it's noisy. It does all work though. Motor bands have gone somewhere. Don't ask me out. Morgan asked the same thing to be honest. So that's in there. WFL is now in here. Uh, not being used. Nothing in here really gets used. It's just storage in here. Uh, so that's here now. And it'll probably stay in here. Not permanently, but it'll be in here for a while. Everything, nothing in here is going to be permanent. It's just for now. That'll probably be in here permanently. Though. And the boss drawer. But everything else, the, what, everything on the floor, and that might not be either. But if, everything on the floor including this will not be permanent in here i will eventually swap the stuff around but yeah the wfl's here so you guys, some of you guys will do most of these machines have gone just in the air so which is just across from the shed over there then we've got the compact zanussi it's just in here as well don't really ever use this i just have it though wmf 740 still got the snap drum spider that's what's still in here uh, it's got spider webs all over it and moldy doors just like the doors been shut. I want to try and get this fixed soon though so we can bring it back. Bendix is over here now, I'll put this over here because it's sort of in retirement now. I, don't, I never use it so I'll just put it over here, so it's basically the retirement now. But it's, ooh, that sounds awful. Uh, Whirlpool's here and the WM83 is here. Very cramped in here, as you can see. That bending sounded awful, then that's not good. Anyway, mm -hmm. let's go back into the shed now because I can actually update you on it on what I want to talk about. So, in here, so I'll show you the machines first. So, the 58 is there, 58 is there, that's there. I'll talk about that in a minute. These two are there, that's there, that's there, that's there. I did just film a video and then it warned me up so bad. You'll see that when I upload it. It's quite funny, to be honest. No, it's just in there drawing. So we'll talk about this thing here first. So this is a this is the Sabre. Uh, it's basically a Beko. It's a bit dirty back there, but that's all just stained. But we have a has been cleaned. Uh, this is basically a Beko, but in foreign. So you've got all foreign right in here. I have figured out all these mean now. I am keeping this as well because it's not so. You know every day you know every day I see a foreign washing machine in the UK. So I will keep this. Um, uh, 7 kilogram 1200 spin got these door handles which I like these doors I do it's a really nice door and you see it lines around here as well I like the door which I like there's a swollen plug on a normal plug I could change that because I've got I looked inside and it's the same wire just different plug at the end so I could change that to a UK plug I like it in the foreign one looks cool uh, this is the drum standard 7 kilogram it was quite mouldy when we got it, but when I got it, but it's a bit cleaner now, sort of. It is a lot cleaner. There you go. 
This machine has have a different motor to it, so it's a lot noisier than the uh, WMD, which is interesting. I want to get this down soon, though, put it, might stack the WMD and put it next to the Beko so we can wash racing. Because this has got different programming. This has, this has got static fuel programming, it just tumbles or something, and it also does spin rinse. So it'll be interesting to wash racing. Well, this here, this was just, this was unexpected, this machine was. So this machine I got off Facebook uh, Marketplace a couple of days ago. Not a couple of days ago. Oh yeah, well, what, what time am I in? A couple of weeks ago. Uh, I paid 30 quid for it with delivery, so it's 30 quid altogether. Uh, this machine I'm keeping. There's still water, there's water in there somewhere. Um, this machine stinks though. It's bad. It's had a maintenance wash, but it still stinks. So I think somebody's doing on it. Um, it does work fully, everything does work, but the spider's gone. Don't bring any flashbacks. But the spoiler's gone in. So what I did is I put I swapped the motors on. So this machine had a good nose crackly motor on it. So I put that motor on that. That's where that crackles now. And then that motor um, had the Nakamoto bearings it's gone on this now. Because this is just out of service now. Until I get any trouble sorted for it. So you can see there's still some mould in there. But that this we only did the maintenance wash just to test the heat. It was all really nice on it, so we just stuck a bit in it. Bit of stuff in it just so it don't make the shed stink. I could put it in the outer and bring something in here that works, but I like having this in here, it's quite nice stuff in here. Uh, it's a WMA 54, 1200. I probably will upgrade this to 400 when I get it fixed because I do know the code for it. So, yeah, that's that there. I paid 30 quid for it. Uh, I got it the same day that it was found. Uh, it was in quite bad condition. The kit plate down is a bit dodgy on it, but it still sits on. It was in quite, in quite good condition. The side panels are immaculate. Of course, it's a bit immaculate. Uh, there's a scratch on the side there. It was, I think the guy said it was off his dad or something. It, it, it was just, it just wanted a replaceable. Anyway, classics is up here now. Not permanently, I don't think. See, it's just that noise. That's up there now. I won't, I've stacked that because uh, I wanted to put it into rest for a bit because that machine, when I since I've had it, has been used a lot. Because I actually love this machine so much, it's been used non-stop practically. So I've put it. I've decided now it's time to give it a little bit of rest. So I've put it up here to rest, and it hasn't been used for a few weeks now. Yeah, I'd say about three weeks it's been up there. Same with all these three. I got that three weeks ago. I had to. I, had, I got that off a neighbour. I don't really tell where I got that from. I got that off a neighbour who lives just over that way around that corner. Uh, I think foreign people must have lived there before they moved in and they just left this washer there for them. So, and they wanted to get a UK, well not UK, UK ride, the one with riding on it. Okay, like one like, like this. But they got a black bush 1200 replacement of this, which I guess is the right replacement. That don't took that, that don't took that. I've put these over here now because I've stacked these. Uh, what well, this here? This is not stain. This is this is Morgan's 56. Um, I'll tell you another one. I found this is it. This is the actual 56 Morgan has. This is his one. I've just had it for a bit because uh, I'm gonna do some repairs on it and stuff for him. Because we did we did do a drum change in this. If you don't know that we did. That machine's got a 54 drum in it. It's actually out of, out of the exact same 54s. It's not this exact one, but it was this same star one. But it was a very bad condition. I've got the face from this in here somewhere. For oh, here's the Bosch door, by the way. So here's the here's the fifth tool got the drum out of. There. That's the 54 we used to uh to fix that. But then a couple of weeks later the bearings went in. The bearings started going again, so pointless. So we've decided we're just gonna do a full bearing change. So I'll bring you here because I'm gonna replace the shocks on it as well. Because the shocks are shocking. Uh but yeah, so that's really all that's changed in here. So the update that I mainly want to do, for God's sake, drain. So that I mainly want to do is, um, so how I'm going to upload videos since I'm back at college now. So the way I'm going to do this is, uh, what I'm going to do is I'll film videos throughout the weekend, like I have now. I've already filmed a few videos. I've filmed three, I think now, four. And I, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload, but I'm going to upload them as unlisted. So then throughout the week, I can still put out videos. Uh, so I can still put out videos to you, to YouTube, so people can still watch. Well, uh, but the videos I'm uploading, I'm not actually filmed them, just pre-recorded. 
and then I'm uploading them as well after it. I'll upload them unlisted and then when I'm ready to upload them, I'll upload them. Uh, just because it makes it easier for me, so when I'm not getting back from college, I ain't just got to worry about getting like, videos out. Because, uh, you know, I need to get, I need to film videos because, you know, there's nothing better to do. But when I get back from college, I'm, I'm tired. And I don't want to have to worry about trying to get a video out. Because I've already got, I can just upload one. Because I'm already pre-recorded. So, that's really it, to be honest. That's the update. I will, I will upload this video straight away, so instantly after I film this. Um, it will be uploaded straight away. So just so you guys understand why there won't be any videos until like midweek. Probably upload the first. I might upload the first one Monday. So tomorrow. Don't know what I'll upload. I've got a wash race against these two. I've got a full cycle of that. I've got a spin race of the scene designer wash wash race of them. Uh, I don't know what I'll, I don't know what to upload first. Let's see. But I'll probably upload one tomorrow. And then maybe I've got four to upload, so maybe one tomorrow, maybe one Wednesday, no, maybe one, maybe one tomorrow and Tuesday, Wednesday and then Friday. I don't know, I'll think of something, I'll figure out what I'm going to do. Or maybe one Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then I could upload the one the weekend, just just one recording of the ones. We'll see. Um, anyway, that's really the update. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you later.